His leathered hands seem to will the cold, moist clay into delicate works of art. Born in 1937 into one of Japan's oldest and most revered pottery-making families, Takashi Nakazato studied first with his father, Teruimon Nakazato, a designated living national treasure. Takashi is a, a 13th generation potter um, from Karatsu. I don't remember how many hundreds of years that is. It's over 300 years of continuous line of potters. While visiting the Arvada Center Ceramic Studios this summer, Nakazato shared the story of his home and tradition through his translator, Kazu Oba. Karatsu is a city on the island of Kyushu, which is the southernmost island of the four major islands. Oba explains Nakazato's home is a gateway to other Asian countries, a place where Korean and Chinese pottery influences made their way over the centuries. Karatsu is the most famous of several pottery centers in the country. The ware that's produced there in that particular region is known as Karatsu ware. While Nakazato's style is infused with family tradition, he also traveled the world studying other potters and developed his own unique style, which is often described as having a contemporary flair. Takashi is completely open to experimentation. He loves learning about new glazes and surfaces and new techniques, and that's one of the things that makes him so special. And that's why his show and his workshop are titled Tradition and Innovation. He's always open to new innovation. And though Nakazato is one of the most celebrated contemporary Japanese potters, his twinkling eyes and quick wit reveal his down-to-earth nature about his fame and talent. Oh, why is it important? He makes everyday functional wear for everyday use, and people have been doing that, and they will be doing that forever. He's happy to be a potter, to be making the functional wear that gets used. He simply enjoy the act of making things, but also he gets his gratification from thinking about these pieces will be used by people. Nakazato says many of his pieces are tableware, important to the Japanese culture's dining traditions and the art of the meal. Some of the work seems more fragile. What he considers like everyday eating dishes to me are much more delicate looking. His other work that is, I believe, more uh, traditional Karatsu region is a little more substantial. It uh, feels a little more substantial in your hand. Nakazato first came to the Arvada Center in the year 2000 when he did a workshop here prior to a national ceramics conference in Denver. He has been a visiting artist many times over the years since. This past August, Nakazato donated his time for a student workshop. The students learn his technique, his style. Um, I think something they also pick up from him is his work ethic and the amount of work he's able to produce in a short amount of time, but he never looks like he's in a hurry. <laughs> he's very relaxed. <laughs> he does use some traditional motifs, some traditional karatsu wear. It's a really wonderful opportunity to have him here at the Arvada Center to expose our students to someone of his lineage and heritage and skill level and from his culture. But this is the first time his works created here will be displayed as a show. I think it's vital to the ceramics department to have visiting artists come in and expose our students to different styles of work, um, different methods of working, and different cultures. It's a great honor to have his work here at the Arvada Center.